let's meet the contestants. Adan Senior High School. Adan Senior High School is represented by Lanmo David Na, final year. Francis Abayate, second year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you? We are, we are fine. doing great. Wonderful. You are a Cedar School. Yes, please. What happened last year? What did the senior tell you? Um, last year at the 1 8 stage, we met um, Fijai and um, St. Monica's, mm -hmm. and we made it to the quarterfinals. But unfortunately, that was the end of the road for us. But this year, we are back and we are going to make it. You are going to make it? Yes. All right. So, how are you going to ensure that you are going to make it? By giving out the very best. All right. Let me wish you well then. Thank you. T. I. Amas Formina. T. I. Amas Formina is represented by Suleiman Ismail, final year. Boacha Bigel, final year. You are welcome, lady and gentlemen. Thank you, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Please tell us a little bit about your school, TIMAS Formina. TIMAS Formina was established in the year 1968, and it is located in the Ashanti region, precisely Formina Adansi, and it's a missionary school. I see. All right. You are coming to us from the prelims. Yes. What happened there? We met Soga Coffet Senior High School and St. Paul's SHS Zemo. And God being so good, we emerged victorious. Good. So you are used to being victorious. Good. All right. What shall we expect today? Expect the best from us. The best. I wish you well. <laughs> Kwenyaku Senior High School. Kenyaku Senior High School is represented by Kayaba Abdelmanan, final year. Ochi Sadiq, final year. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you? We are fine. You are doing well. Yes. Good. Uh, tell us a little bit about Kenyaku Senior High School. Oh, okay. Kenyaku Senior High School is a school located in 1991. Which is fairly at the Sound. High School. Kayab Abdel Manan. Good. So where do we continue? What was the second question? I don't have a list. Okay. Kwenyaku Senior High School is represented by Kayab Abdelmanan, final year. Ochi Sadiq, final year.
You're welcome, gentlemen. I have Abdul Manan final year. Ochi Sadiq final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you doing? Very well. Good. Please tell us about Kunyaku Senior High School. Okay. Kunyaku Senior High School it was a school established in the year 1991, and it established, uh, and it is located at the central region, specifically at Aguna East. And our motto is through perseverance and excellence. All right. Now your history with the National Science and Math Quiz. Okay. We have been in the National Science and Math Quiz for the past three years. And the farthest we have been here is the one eight. But this year we are here to surpass our limit. Surpass your limit? Yes. Do I want to know what your limit is? Yes. No. <laughs> keep it. Keep it. We shall find out. Huh? Okay. All right. So let me wish you well. Okay. Thank you. Viewers, we have met the contestants. We are talking about elastic limits here. But before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is supported by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. Let me do that again. Uh -huh. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We are supported by TIGO, GOIL, Prudential Life Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, and GCB Bank. We are produced by Prime Time. My name is Dr. Elsie Fakofman. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Biomedical Engineering, University of Ghana, and I'm your quiz mistress. Contestants, the contest comes to you in five rounds. The first round is the round for fundamental concepts. Simple, direct questions that require simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If the answer is right, a bonus point. If the answer is incorrect, it fetches a penalty point. For questions that require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds in which you can present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have 10 seconds to present that answer. All of the questions are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm going to start with you, Kwenyaku, your question. Give the products of decomposition when ammonium trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Yes, Adik. To produce ammonia and nitrogen, nitrogen 1 or 1. The one is for the nitrogen one oxide. The right answer is nitrogen one oxide and water, no ammonia. Here I'm asked for me now. 
give the product of decomposition when potassium trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Ismail. Madam, we have NO2 gas, oxygen gas, and we have NO2 gas, oxygen gas, and potassium oxide. I'll give you one for the oxygen gas. <laughs> the right answer is potassium dioxonitrate 3 and oxygen gas. Ada, give the products of decomposition when lead trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Yes, Francis. Um, lead oxide, oxygen, and nitrite oxide. Two out of three. Yes, lead oxide and oxygen. The third one is nitrogen for oxide. All right, Kwenyaku. Uh, what is the minority carrier type in the base region of a bipolar junction transistor with N type majority carriers in its emitter? Yes, Kayaba. Who's? I'm not accepting that. Ismail? Electron. No, I'm not accepting that. The right answer is N type. Your major question, see, I am asked. Is of a bipolar junction type? You're right. If the minority to have full concentration, I plead with you to switch off your phones. All right, next set, 30 seconds. Kwenyako, Y varies directly as X, and Y is equal to 36 when X is equal to 9. Find Y when X is equal to 6. Yes, Sadiq. 24. Yes. It's not available. <laughs> See, I'm asked. Y varies directly as the square of X, and Y is equal to 100 when X is equal to 5. Find Y when X is equal to 6. Yes, Abigail. Why is 144? Yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ada, unavailable question, so. <laughs> All right, now your major question. Y varies inversely as X, and Y is equal to 25 when X is equal to 2. Find Y when X is equal to 10. Yes, Francis. Five. Yes. <laughs> For the next set, I have a preamble. Preamble to all schools. Mention what happens in each case when the primary ugonium of a mammal goes through meiosis. Please, did you get your preamble? Again. Mention what happens in each case when the primary ogonium of a mammal goes through meiosis. All right, now, Kwenyaku, 
how many viable germ cells or eggs are formed? Yes, Adik? It's false. That's incorrect. We're bonus. <laughs> the right answer is one. With the same preamble to your mass, what other cells are formed apart from the egg? Bonus. The right answer is polar bodies. Ada, with the same preamble, what happens to the polar bodies after division? Francis. Um, the polar body separates and moves to the peripheral of the cell. That's incorrect. We're well, bonus. They simply disappear, they disintegrate. Next set, 30 seconds. Kwenyako, calculate the pH of 0 0.10 mole per decimeter cube solution of HOBr, which has a pKa of 8.62. Sadiq. The pH is 4.81. Yes. <laughs> Calculate the pH of 0 0.10 mole per decimeter cubed solution of aniline whose pKb is 9.40. Yes, Ismail. The pH is 3.3. .3. That's incorrect. we bonus. The right answer is 8.8. .8. Ada, phenol is an aromatic organic acid with a pKa of 10.0. Calculate the pH of its 0.010 mole per decimeter cube solution. Francis. Six. That's right. Next set, 30 seconds. Kwenyako, find the magnitude of the electrostatic force on a 5 nanocoulomb point charge due to a 20 na nanocoulomb point charge 0 0.5 centimeters away. Go ahead, Sadiq. You get the answer to be four times 10 to the power minus 15. No. For bonus. <laughs> the right answer is 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 2 Newton. Pia Mas. 
find the distance between a 16 nanocoulomb point charge and a 20 nanocoulomb point charge at which the force on each of them is 80 millinewton. Bonus. The right answer is six millimeters. Ada, find the magnitude of the electrostatic force on a 16 nanocoulomb point charge due to a 2.0 nanocoulomb point charge 5.0 centimeters away. bonus. The right answer is 1.1 times 10 to the power negative 4 newtons. Preamble to all schools. You have 30 seconds in the short preamble of evaluate. Evaluate. Kwenyaku. Sine of 67 degrees multiplied by cosine of 23 degrees plus cosine of 67 degrees multiplied by sine of 23 degrees. Yes, Adik. One. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Mas. Cosine of 53 degrees multiplied by cosine of 23 degrees plus sine of 53 degrees multiplied by sine of 23 degrees. Yes, Abigail. Root 3 out of 2. Yes. <laughs> Ada. Sine of 78 degrees multiplied by cosine of 33 degrees. Minus cosine of 78 degrees multiplied by sine of 33 degrees. Yes, Lanumo. Rule two on two. Yes. <laughs> Last set of questions for the round. Preamble to all schools. Preamble. Angiosperms have three main types of vascular bundles depending on how the phloem and xylem tissues are arranged. Describe the following types of vascular bundles. That is the preamble. Kwenyaku radial. Sadiq. In the radial vascular bundle arrangement. It has the phloem and the xylem arranged in a radial form. That is in a circular form. I'm not uh, accepting that. <laughs> Bonus? No. All right. The right answer. In radial vascular bundles, the xylem and phloem are present on Different radii. Different radii. Okay. With the same preamble, TMS, conjoined. Yes, uh, Ismail. Uh, Madam, the xylem and the phloem are on the same radar, but at different sides. Okay, I'll give that to you.
other concentric. Francis. The xylem and phlegm are arranged in a hole that is in the form of a circle and have the same radii. I'm not accepting that. Okay. For a bonus. Okay. The vascular bundles in which one type of vascular tissue is surrounded by another. So one then the other. That means the xylem surrounding the phloem or vice versa, phloem surrounding the xylem. That's the end of the first round. At the end of the first round, Adan Senior High School has 10 points. <laughs> T.I. Amas Formina has 12 points. <laughs> Kwenyaku Senior High School has 14 points. <laughs> Wrong scores. Sorry. <laughs> At the end of the first round, Kwenyaku Senior High School has 10 points. T.I. Amas Formina has 12 points. Ada Senior High School has 14 points.
four more rounds to go. Let me encourage everyone to work really hard. Round two. This round is also known as a speed race. The questions in the round are directed to all three schools simultaneously. For an opportunity to answer a question, you need to ring for it. May I hear your bell at Dance Near High School? See, I am asked. Good. If you ring and answer correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. If you attempt a question and you are unable to get a correct answer, you lose a precious point. For questions that require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have a maximum of 10 seconds. Best wishes to all three schools. For this first set of questions, you have 30 seconds maximum. Question one. An incandescent lamp with 10 volts across its terminal dissipates 32 milliwatts in steady state. What is the electron flow rate through the lamp's filament? Yes, which of you? Ismail. 2.0 times 10 exponent, 16 per second. You are right. <laughs> Next one. Uranium-235 has a half-life of 7.0 times 10 to the power 8 years. Convert its half-life to SI units. A secret answer is negative for fungus in a mutualistic relationship with an alga. What benefit does the alga obtain? Abigail. Ismail. Madam, the fungi cannot produce its own food. So it absorbs water for the lichen so, so, as, so that the lichen will produce food for the... I'm not accepting that. Who next? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Sadiq. The, the agar, the agi produce is produce food. Produce its own food by photosynthesis. But it ob the lichen it obtain water from the lichen. So wrong. Go ahead. And hence cannot produce it. The relationship. It obtains minerals and protection. Okay, please, if you ring and you don't raise your hand, I am at liberty to call anyone I choose. Next one, 10 seconds. Why is the nucleus called the brain of the cell? Yes, Sadiq. Because it controls all the activities of the cell. Yes. Thirty seconds. A number is given to three significant figures as four hundred and fifty seven. Find the smallest possible value. Yes, Adik. Four hundred and sixty five point five. That's incorrect. I continue. The smallest possible value for the number. Four hundred and fifty. That's incorrect. Yeah. 
The right answer is 456.5. You need to calm down. You told me 465. All right. The curve Y is equal to A plus 5 multiplied by sine of X. Passes through the point with coordinates 0, 7. Find the value of A. Abigail, two. That's incorrect. Yes, Adik. Minus five. No. The right answer is seven. Next one. Find the sum of the first twenty terms of the series. Five plus ten plus 15, plus 20, plus on and on. Which of you? Sadiq. Negative 850. That's incorrect. Francis. 1,050. You are right. Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds each. The enthalpies of formation of ethene, CO2, and H2O are 53.0 kilojoule per mole, negative 394.0 kilojoule per mole and negative 285.0 kilojoule per mole respectively. Calculate the enthalpy of combustion of a mole of ethene. The right answer is negative 1,411 kilojoule. Consider the following bond energies in kilojoule per mole. Carbon, carbon, single bond, 346. Carbon, hydrogen, 411. Oxygen molecule, 494. Calculate the energy required to break all bonds during the combustion of ethane gas. The right answer is 4,541 kilojoule. Last question for the round. List all the bonds, including their respective numbers, that need to be formed during the combustion of ethane. Yes, uh, Ismail. We have um, two carbon oxygen single bonds and two hydrogen oxygen single bonds. That's incorrect.
the right answer. Four carbon oxygen double bonds and six oxygen hydrogen bonds. That's the end of the, first, the second round. Please keep them covered and do not begin until I ask you to. Please put your pens down. <laughs> At the end of the second round, Kwenyaku Senior High School has 11 points. T.I. Amas Pomena has 12 points. Adan Senior High School has 14 points. Contestants, we need to make progress. <laughs> round three. This round has the problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you will have three minutes in which to present an answer from your school. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. For the sparingly soluble salt AB, the solubility product, KSP, is defined as KSP is equal to concentration of A plus multiplied by concentration of B minus, where concentration of A plus and concentration of B minus are equilibrium concentrations of the ions in mole per decimeter cubed. The salt has a solubility of 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 5 mole per decimeter cubed at 27 degrees Celsius. One, calculate the solubility product KSP of AB at 27 degrees Celsius. Two, 
calculate the solubilities of AB in 0 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed NAB solution and 0 0.001 mole per decimeter cubed NAB solution, both at 27 degrees Celsius. Assume NAB is fully ionized in solution and state any other assumption made in your calculations. Finally, state any observations made. Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin. ready. Contestant, please pick up your notepads and present your answers on the board. Salt. 
times 10 to the power negative 2 mole per decimeter cube for making that assumption one point. Okay, so now in 0 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed NAB, the concentration of B minus is 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 mole per decimeter cubed. So we simply set up the equation. The KSP, which we have already calculated previously, 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 9, is equal to concentration of A plus multiplied by this concentration that we have assumed. So we have concentration of A plus multiplied by 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 9. We can now simply uh, make the concentration of A plus a subject, and that's also the solubility of the salt AB, and that should be 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 7 mole per decimeter cubed. Three points for this. Now, in the other solution, the more dilute solution, 0 0.001 mole per decimeter cubed NAB, the concentration of B minus is approximately, again, it's our assumption, 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 3 mole per decimeter cubed. So the concentration of A plus, or the solubility of the salt AB, is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 6. It's the same process as we did for the previous one. And that fetches 3 points. Now let's look at our observations. What we can observe is that the solubility of the salt in water is 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 5 mole per decimeter cube. That is what was given in the problem. The solubility in 0 0.001 mole per decimeter cubed NAB is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 6 mole per decimeter cubed. We calculated that. And the solubility in 0 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed NAB is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 7 mole per decimeter cubed. So we've only, that's what we calculated also. So we've only gathered our information. Now, if you look at this carefully, you will see that the solubility decreases with increase in Na plus B minus concentration for making this observation one point, giving a total of 10 points. This was a suggested solution. Contestants, Kwenyaku. Kwenyaku did not understand this problem at all. Concentration of A, has, A plus has been given, concentration of B minus, you can get that. Simply multiply the two, they decide to make the problem more complicated than necessary. They decide to call the concentrations X, they square root, then they square root, then A. No, 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 all of that is not meaningful. So I'm, on humanitarian grounds, I'm giving you one out of ten. At Dasnia High School, you were able to calculate for the solubility product. That was a correct calculation, two points there, but the rest of it, no. Uh, we couldn't really do anything after that. So you have two, and I gave Kwenyakun one, so I'm adding one to give you three out of ten. <laughs> Here I'm asked for Mena, you started well, KSP, correct. Then you set up to calculate for the solubility for 0 0.01 mole per decimeter cube solution. That is the right equation. You set up correctly, but you didn't finish. So I can't give you the four three points. I'm going to give you two there. So that was four, and then I, add, I gave these gentlemen one point, so I'll add one to you to give you five out of ten. That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. You may pick up your notepad.
before we begin the fourth round, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We also have support from TIGO, GOAL, Prudential Life Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, and GCB Bank. We are produced by Primetime. Thank you. Round four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If the answer is right, two four points. If the answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point. Best wishes, everyone. I'm starting with TI and Mass for Mena, your statement. At the cathode of the lead acid battery, lead four oxide is reduced to lead two. Yes, Dr. Gill. True. Yes. Ada, at the anode of the ordinary radio and torch light batteries, also known as a Leclanché cell, the anode is simply the zinc container. Francis. It's true. Yes. Kwenyaku, during the charging of lead acid storage batteries, water is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. Yes, Sadiq? It's true. Yes. For the next set, I have a preamble. This is the preamble. In the following, A and B are real numbers. That's the preamble. Now, uh, TR mass. If AB is equal to zero, then A is equal to zero. Yes, Abigail? True. No. That's a false statement. Ada, with the same preamble, if AB is equal to zero, then B is equal to zero. Francis. It's false. Yes. Kwenyaku, if AB is equal to zero, then neither A is equal to zero nor B is equal to zero. Yes, Adik. It's false. Yes. Amas. Nitrifying bacteria require anaerobic conditions to function, hence flooding aids nitrification. Yes, Abigail. It's false. Yes. <laughs> Nitrifying bacteria are more sensitive to environmental stresses than other types of soil bacteria. Yes, Francis? It's true. Yes. <laughs> Nitrification rates are slower in very acidic soils, while high alkalinity reduces nitrobacter activity, causing an unfavorable buildup of nitrite in the soil. Sadiq? It's true. Yes. If an erect object is located between a, a concave mirror and its focal point, its image is real, erect, and magnified. Yes, 
Yes, Miss Mill. Madam is false. Yes. <laughs> if an erect object is located between a concave mirror and its focal point, its image is erect and larger than the object. Yes, Francis. It's true. Yes. If an erect object is located between a concave mirror and its focal point, its image is virtual, erect, and can be received on a screen. Yes, Adik. It's false. Yes. If it takes ammonia about 15 seconds to escape through a hole into a vacuum, it may take air slightly longer than 15 seconds to escape under the same conditions. Abigail. It's true. Yes. <laughs> CO2 and SO2 will diffuse at almost the same rate through a pinhole on a vessel under the same experimental conditions. Francis. It's false. Yes. <laughs> Helium will diffuse four times faster than oxygen through a pinhole on a vessel under the same experimental conditions. Sadiq. It's true. No, that's a false statement. <laughs> In both a rhombus and a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular. Ismail. It's true. Yes. In both a rhombus and a kite, the diagonals bisect each other. Francis. It's true. No, that's a false statement. <laughs> In both a rectangle and a square, the diagonals are congruent. Yes, Adik. It's true. Yes. <laughs> For the next set, I have a preamble. Preamble to all schools. State whether the following are true or false about the nucleus of animal cells. Did you get your preamble? All right. Here I am asked. It is separated from the cytoplasm by a double membrane of phospholipids. Yes, Abigail. True. Yes. <laughs> it contains nuclear pores through which messenger RNA and DNA can exit the cytosol. Yes, Francis. It's true. No, that's a false statement. It contains the nucleolus, which is the site for synthesis of ribosomal RNA. Sadiq. It's true. Yes. <laughs> Last. The net a particle in equilibrium moves with constant speed. Sadiq. It's false. You are right. And that's the end of the fourth round.
At the end of the fourth round, Kwenyaku Senior High School has 25 points. Adan Senior High School has 27 points. T.I. Amas Formina has 30 points. This is a close contest which is going to be decided in the fifth and final round, round five. In this round, I'm going to be reading out clues. Your objective is to solve the riddles. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. In order to attempt the riddle, you need to ring for it. You might hear your bell, Ada. Tia Amas. Kwenyaku. When you ring, your answer must be ready. You have four riddles. I was originally a concept from genetics, but I'm now used in biochemistry, computational biology, and evolutionary biology. I have a large influence on the shape of evolutionary landscapes. I arise due to interactions, either between genes or within them, leading to nonlinear effects. I am a form of gene interaction whereby one gene must Yes, uh, Ismail. Epistasis. You are right. I was reading the fourth clue, three points. Next one. My origins date back to June 5th, 1783. I owe my existence to an experiment performed with a balloon filled with air on that day. I bear the name of a fellow countryman who investigated the phenomenon observed. Try to heat the air in a balloon through its opening and you would see me at work. Because the air in the balloon on heating becomes less dense, the balloon begins to rise. If the volume of the balloon increases at constant pressure during the heating, then I am at play. So who am I? Yes, uh, Sadiq. Charles. Charles. I'm not no. accepting that. Who next? Yes, Francis. I trust. Ooh. Did you ring? Yes, Ismail. Flotation. Ah. <sighs> By the way, Sadiq, what is Charles? The right answer is Charles's law. Next. In a way, I am a bridge. I am just a line segment. I connect two points on a curve. In particular, I connect two points on a circle. Yes, uh, Ismail. God. You are right. <laughs> they solved the riddle on the fourth clue, three points. Last riddle. property of a moving object. My value depends on the mass of the moving object. I change when a force does work. Yes, Ismail? Inertia. No. Did you ring? Yes, go ahead. Linear yes. momentum. Linear momentum. No. You didn't ring. I continue for you. I change when a force does work on an object. I am the energy possessed by an object because of its motion. At low speeds of an object, I am proportional to the square of the object's speed. 
So who am I? Yes, Sadiq. No, ring first. Sadiq. You are right. I read all the clues. Three points. And that's the end of the first round. Kwenyaku Senior High School. well yes. please prepare well and I look forward to seeing you <laughs> viewers we are still at the 1A stage of competition next time we are going to bring you the 21st 1A stage contest which features Kumasi High School Senior High School 